Hello there and welcome to a brand new season of Creatives on the Couch. We're back! We're back! How are you doing? Oh, oh, fantastic. Got a brand new set. It's Just amazing. look at this. So thank you so much for joining us. Now we're going to start this season with something a little bit different. We're going to change things up a bit and we're going to hear the story of this amazing, amazing guy. So today we've got Tony Stowell with us and we've got the legal representative. We're going very legal today. Faddy, thank you so much for, for joining us. Hi guys, Thank how you. was your journey from London? Lovely. Yeah. Just, yeah, just. <laughs> the standard relaxing train ride. That is what we like to hear. Perfect. Now, Tony, we're, we're going to, to touch on your life okay. and we are going to go through a journey with you and you're going to take our viewers on a journey. It's been an emotional time for you, hasn't it? Very emotional, yes. Very, very emotional. So where would you like to start? That's a great question, isn't it? What do you think, Fabi? From 2012, and went into care? Yeah, in 2012, my mum first went into care. When I say care, I mean into a care home. Okay. And I'd never stepped foot into a care home in my life, as you can imagine. You'd heard about things, but goes in there and goes out there, doesn't it, when yeah. you're not involved? Yeah. So when she went in, I was, I thought, oh, I'm not, I'm not really happy with this. But you have to get on with it. So I did. And I tried my best to get on with everyone who worked there, as you would do. They're looking after your mum, yeah. your relative. So that particular care home, I started to see things that I'd heard about, not in that care home, but in like, in general. But I saw it in that home. Long story short, my mum fell over in there due to neglect and she broke her hip. The care home then admitted liability. The care home was then successfully sued right not that we wanted to do that all i wanted was mum to be fixed brought back and go back to her care home be looked after never thought of anything to do with legal okay but in the in the ambulance they actually said to because they came in to see mum obviously the paramedics they looked at mum sorted her out put her in and mum at that point hence why they said legal had to be involved because of that particular case at the time that was in 2014 she'd been there two years when the paramedics got there, mum was sat up on a chair, as I am now, as we are. Paramedic got there, said to me, said, who put your mum up from the floor mm. to the chair? I have a clue what it was on about. That's how naive I was. I'll be honest. Mm. All I saw was my mum getting better. I wanted to be better. Yeah. I said, well, she was on the chair when I got there. What are you getting at? And he said to me, he said, um, we suspect your mum's broken her hip. Now, that was like a bolt to me. Yeah. I didn't want to see my mum get hurt in any way, never mm. mind breaking her hip. So I was in turmoil. I said, oh, please, you know, let's just get my mum looked at. Get her to the hospital, get her looked after. Let's get mum fixed. He said, yes, that's what we're going to do. He said, but we think you need to see legal, seek legal advice. I said, why? He said, because when a casualty becomes, or a casualty becomes a casualty, mm. you leave them where they fall and became that casualty. And I said, okay, I'm giving the picture now. He said, they've airlifted her, basically. Right. and lifted her to the chair. He mm -hmm. said, if we suspect and our suspicions are correct, and your mum's broken her hip. Now again, I'm going to get medical aid, I'm not, I'm not spot on, but his words were, in my language, it could have killed your mum. Gosh. Right. Due right. to when they lift you, okay. it yes. can stop some sort of blood flow. Right. And, and so anything, of course. Yes, he of did course. that. And that's when I thought, oh God, what do you, I didn't know any of this. He said, you need to seek legal advice. So I did. Um, long story short on that one, the care home held its hands up immediately, mm. which upset me, mm. if you like. They admitted liability just like that. So from, the reason why I wanted to mention that case was because, because of that situation, mum's first care home, mum then went into, I think it was six care homes after that, wasn't it, Faddy? Um, and I'm going to be honest here, I have to be to get it out to the public. The social services then blacklisted us as a family because I didn't know at this point, because every care home we tried to get mum in, care homes come and assess a possible resident. Yeah, that's the way it has to be done. They assess you. Okay. If they can manage you, yeah. yes, bring her in. Welcome. Sure. Every care home who came to assess mum assessed us. Yeah, we can take her. Mm. Unbeknown to us, the next day, sorry, we can't take her. I thought, what's going on here? And what I'm getting at here, and I think it's pivotal for the public to know this. We were told and invited to a particular care home, I will not mention this care home, 
but they literally told us why. He invited us in. I went along with a couple of family members. I said, what's the problem? What is it? He said, the reason why we want you in is because what we've got to tell you, we want to tell you face to face. I looked at my family and I thought, what's, what's, he, what's he talking about? We've done nothing. Yeah. What's wrong? It's mum. Look after her. Mm. He said, we want to take your mum in. He said, but we've been told point blank by the social services not to touch this family with a badge pole. I just fell. I said, what? I said, why? Mm. His words were, because you sue everybody. Right. Right, okay. right. So what I'm getting at here, I, I, immediately you realise that. Mm. Because we'd done that with the home, that when we broke her hip in. Sure. She'd broken her hip. Not that we wanted to do that. Yeah. Last thing on our mind, it was the paramedic. But the social services used that as a power tool for mm. them. They didn't like what I'd done. So that was the start of my mum. I really believe having the consequences in future homes. Right, wow. okay, okay. Gosh. And I think it's a vital point that the public understand where I'm coming from. Mm. Because I wanted, I, I, I would always treat people the way I would want to be treated. Sure. So if my mum goes into a care home, as she did, that care home and the workers, staff, whoever, they have to become my family. Absolutely, yeah. that's a given. Am yeah. I making to, sense here? You've yeah, you got are. to be able to trust them with because, your loved ones. Yes, I thought, I want to get on with everybody. I want to go for coffee with my mum. Yeah. I want to have dinner with her. And I did. Yeah. And all staff got on with me. So I thought, that's good, that. But yet the social services behind my back mm -hmm. had blacklisted us. Okay. So this is where it started. So every care home we came in, ah, oh, there's the sun coming in there, seeing everyone who notices abuse. They didn't like me. Right, because you were noticing things. And I would voice it in a nice way. Sure. But that's my mum. Paul. Isn't that the correct thing to do? Yes. Isn't that what you should do? If you see if you see wrongdoings, do you just turn a blind eye and walk away and say, I can't say anything? No, that's my mum. Yeah. That's my mum. Okay. Mm -hmm. So you so you got her into the home. Yes. Um how did situations end up um you know, with with, with your mum. Obviously the end you mean. Yeah, obviously things change yeah, quite so a lot. Yeah, so that's what I've said to there, that sort of gives you a good a good impression or a picture of what happened in the, in the care home. Sure. Just, that just domino affects it. Yeah. 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 On her so, health as well. Yeah. But then what I'm going to get to here, the last care home my mum was in, where we lost her sadly, um, I tried to get my mum in that care home two years before she actually went into it. Okay. Again, going back to what I said to you at the beginning. Yeah. Social service said, no, they can't look after you. They can't cope with her. I said, yeah, but they've assessed her. So I'm going to tell you now, will make you think, hang on a minute, something here very corrupt has gone on. Mum then got onto what they call continuing healthcare. Okay. I'm not sure if you understand what that is, but that's where the system then pays for you. Okay. okay. You know, even if you're a millionaire, the system pays for you because right. you have what they call nursing needs. Right. Okay. You, you fit the criteria mm -hmm. for continuing healthcare, right. CHC. Okay. So the nurses then did it all, your mum's qualified. So I said, what does that mean now? They said, your mum's cares free. I said, okay, that's fine. I said, but what do we do? Mm -hmm. So I'm having a meeting with the CHC head nurse. And then she said, said to me, Tony, which care home would you like your mum in? I said, that's something I've never ever been asked before. Mm -hmm. I was shocked. And I said, well, you, you know the situation with what's gone on? He said, yes, but we're looking after you now. Which one would you like her in? And I thought, this is very strange. Yeah. So I mentioned the care home that said they couldn't take, or they said they could, but social service said they couldn't. Yeah. I said, I'd like her in that one. I said, because that's the best of a bad bunch. Mm. And I say that with my hand on heart. Okay. It was the best of the bad bunch. So they said, right, we'll sort that out. So I was puzzled. I said, how can you sort that out where two years or whatever years ago it was, social services said they couldn't look after her then because her needs were too much. He said to me, your mum's needs aren't too much. They can cope with her. So what I'm getting across there is my mum had gone through, maybe not just my mum, other families with their parents. Yeah. If a social worker doesn't like you, behind your back, your family member who needs to go into care can have a dog's life. Right, okay. Am I making sense here? Yeah. So yeah. my mum could have gone into that care home years before and possibly had a better life 
and a standard of life in a care home. Yeah, right. because what the care home or the social services did, while we were self-funding mum's care, mm -hmm. behind our backs, they were backstabbing us. Okay. And I found that out by the care home who told me. Right. So then mum goes in, she's not paying for her care, it's continuing health care. That care home comes to assess mum. Don't forget, this is a few years down the line when they said they couldn't care for her or the social services said they couldn't. Yeah. They said, yeah, we can take her. My mum improved massively. She came off all medications. She'd come to my house every week in a taxi with a carer. Mm -hmm. Every every Wednesday, I, oh, I miss that so much. Yeah, yeah. It was on the hot summer of 2018, 2000. I think it was 18, yeah, 2018. Mm -hmm. The hot summer of 2018, but it was every, every day, it was just warm. Mm -hmm. She'd come every week to my home mm -hmm. and I sat in my patio and I had tables out with food for her drinks. Mm -hmm. My mum, she loved it. Right. And that memory will stay with me. Mm -hmm. She sure. came eight, nine times, eight weeks on a trot, nine oh. weeks. Every week the taxi brought her. Yeah. So what I'm getting at here is... That was in the summer when we had the World Cup in England. Yes. England were on a run. There you go. Nice. Yeah. Gareth yes. Southgate was doing really well. Yeah. There the you go. And, 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 and your mum... It's football. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. But, and your mum was um, coming in. Mum was, was Spanish, so she, when Spain was in, she yeah. loved right. it. Yeah. So what I'm getting at here is, that was further down the line of them saying with my mum's dementia, mm -hmm. how bad she was getting and care homes couldn't look after her. Right. They were trying to get my mum to move out of city. Okay. And I wanted to ask people why. Yeah. Because I got told as well, because I was the son that cared for mum. I don't mean cared, I think physically cared. Yes, of course. It's your mum. That yeah, you. that's all I need to say. Yeah. yeah. They thought, let's get rid of him. If we can't get rid of him, let's send her away. Wow. Gosh. Believe you me. Okay. So then we got women into that care home and she became a picture of health. Mm -hmm. Until lockdown right yeah okay so you, you give us the back story now i think you've got a good um, picture there yeah oh. absolutely now lockdown changed it changed everything for a lot of people yes um unfortunately you know your mum didn't make it through lockdown no did she what i'd like to come here before we go into the next bit while mum was in that, that particular care home that looked after her yeah mum contracted pneumonia okay this would have been in time Come here to 18, but possibly 19, mm. early 19. Yeah. I think it was early 19, wasn't it? Pneumonia terrified me. I got her into casualty. I sat with her the whole time. She was knocked out. Mm. I thought, God, what's wrong? Again, to condense it, the, the, the staff at the whole Royal Infirmary were superb with me in casualty. Mm. Doctor was wonderful. I said to my mum the whole time, I said, How is she? He said, Don't worry, we're going to x ray. We've x rayed the lung. He said, There's one one side, we're going to make sure it's not on the other side. Mm. They did everything. That's important it. to highlight as well. That's because why I'm doing that. You know why I'm doing that. It was, know it was, that. It was good why. care and yeah. Yeah. in everything you've got the good and the bad. Of yeah. course. This is yeah. why yeah. Yeah. I mentioned this, then Fadi will come in after. Yeah. Yeah. So they're looking after, this is 18 months before. So they looked after mum really well. They said, they came back, said to me, good news, Miss Stowell. I said, oh, what? He said, it's only on one side. Okay. He said, we'll admit her, come with us to the ward, straight away to antibiotics, everything. The next day I came, I was sat having a cup of tea with my mum. Mm. Right. She looked wonderful. Yeah. yeah. She stayed in a week with a, I think it was a week, no more than a week, back to the care home, beautiful. Okay. Now I'm going to fast forward that. Sure. To lockdown. Yeah. Same thing happened again. Mm. So we believe, I couldn't get in. I'm there seeing my mum every day at the window, window visits. My two children come with me on most visits. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Mum's at the window waving to me. I've got photos of everything of my mum in lockdown waving to me. Mm. She looked fine. And at one point, he said, well, your mum's got a bit of a cough. So how is she? Is she, is she okay? He said, yeah, Tony. He said, when are, this is, again, vital. Yeah. This was a care home manager because we had a great relationship. I remember, I must, I must specify this. There was a court order on the care home and also on us. Now, when I say a court order, it means if mum was to become poorly in the care home, by law, no matter what it was, mm. they had to inform each member of mum's children. Okay. Okay. of the family yeah. right that's vital what I'm saying there and it happened we might have cough hey Tony don't worry your mum's fair thing he'd say to me is because I would panic straight away because yeah. my mum you know yeah. he said to me Tony don't worry I know you panic when I call you he said your mum's fine so yeah. I knew she was always okay but on this time in lockdown the iPad comes out I said what's wrong with my mum he says she's got a little bit of a slight we can hear a slight chest so we're just making sure so thank you for that I'm at the window watching it mm. I said where's the doctor again I thought 
I said, an iPad. I said, I was the doctor going to diagnose my mum with a chest infection on an iPad. Mm. So he did that. He said to me, don't worry, we've got the antibiotics. Your mum's fine. He said, and again, he said to me, when have we ever let you down? Right, okay. And I said, I believe you. I said, because you haven't. I said, but I could always get in then. Mm. Yeah. Are you with me? Yeah. I said, yeah. I could always get in and sit with her mm. to make sure you're doing everything I know you should be doing. Yeah. Mm. But we had a good relationship. Court order was in place. They had to abide by that order. Mm. They didn't. Okay. As I say, I'd phone up every day. Hi, mum. She's fine. I get to the 17th of May, 2020. I knew nothing. As far as I was concerned, mum was well. I'm walking, I'm always up early. Lock, remember, it's locked down. I go with my dog. I get my phone out, phone the care home, as I always did every morning. Hi, it's only Tony. I said, how's my mum? Happy as Larry I was. Yeah. Oh, Tony, can we call you back in five minutes? We'll just, I said, yeah, of course you can. I thought, they must be busy. It gets early morning. Tony's pestering them. Mm. Less than five minutes later, the phone rings. Hiya, Tony. I remember, I remember who she is. Mm. Can, am I allowed to identify the name? Can I identify her? First name? I wouldn't, but just call her. You it. wouldn't? Yeah. Okay, so the, the nurse. nurse. The nurse. Yeah. The nurse. And this was a Sunday morning, of course. Sunday, Sunday morning, morning, 17th of May, 2020. Yeah. Remember, I know nothing. Yeah. yeah. I called, she calls me back. Mm. Hi, Tony. And uh, the way she said it, it's haunting me. Mm. I have PTSD and everything from this. I'm under... EMDR therapy from everything. It's destroyed me. Mm -hmm. um, she said, oh, Tony said, now how she said it, I could, I could see her. And she said, Tony, your mum's end of life. Oh, even saying that now, I have to, I have to be strong here. Mm -hmm. yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Even now. I yeah. said, what, what? Your mum's end of life. But she said it in a, in a way of, you know she is. Yeah. Tony, your mum's end of life. Like that. No, exactly like that. As a matter of fact. Yes. Yeah. You have been told beforehand. As if I've been told. Right. How come, why are you asking this? Yeah. You know she's end of life. I don't know what I did. Okay. Mm. I just said, what? What do you mean end of life? I said, does my family know this? Mm. It's the first I'd known. So I knew nobody could have known because that was a court order. Yes. Mm. So for me, for someone to say to you, your mum's only your mum's end of life. Why are you asking if she's okay? Mm. That was the matter of fact way she okay. said it. That was what she meant. Okay. What are you reading for? She's mm. end of life. Mm. Yeah. Oh, so I was gone. I died that moment. Mm. But another, I got this strength from somewhere. I don't know where. And I got, I got a lift. Family got to know. I said, phone the family up. Make sure all the family know what's happening. So I got to the care home. And I called you literally from the care home as well, didn't I? Yes. And everybody's there. I couldn't go in. Mm. And again, a long story to, to get it short. The manager came out and he invited us in to watch my mum die. Right. And yet the day before, I'm kind of life as if nothing's wrong. Mm. Nobody told me. So I get back to the court order. They've broken that court order there. Whereas 18 months previous, mum goes into her infirmary and gets fixed with pneumonia. Mm. Well, this one, they're suspecting a slight chest infection. But yet she's been put on end of life. So again, they invite in to watch her die. I said, you I, I lost it. Mm. I said, get my mum out of that care home now. Mm. I said, an ambulance. I was I was going berserk. Yeah. So obviously we, you know, obviously it's, a, it's just a, a thirty minute. Yes. So yes. Um, your mum passed. Yes. You've created um, it's Antonio's Antonio's law. Law. Yes. Um, what is Anto It's going to be on screen, but mm. what is Antonio's law? What What is it that you are now trying to change? What, what? I think fire is probably the best. Sir. So, um, following on from what Tony said in relation to the end of life, end of life is, um, it's usually called an end of life pathway where effectively a decision has been made to watch uh, a particular person die. Okay. And that's not necessarily bad. That has a role in the care landscape because sometimes um, letting someone die peacefully with dignity is the only way to go about it. Yeah. Because sometimes if you're going to have treatment or other forms that can be more distressing mm. to the person than allowing them to have that peaceful route out. Sure. Yeah. Um, however, when a decision is taken to make that end of life decision, yes, it should be made in consultation with the patient. Yes. yes. It shouldn't just be something that's written on your file mm -hmm. that will then happen without your knowledge. Right. There you go. And if the patient lacks capacity, yeah. then you consult with family members. Right. Right. Okay. Tony's yeah. main issue here yeah. is that a decision was taken spontaneously on the Sunday yes. 
when records reveal yeah. that it was actually taken two days before there you go. on the Friday. There you go. So, so that was the issue is on the Sunday, in real time, Tony thought it was being made on that day. Yes. Records now show it was made at least 72 hours before. The issue is, had, Tony, tried it had Tony and the family been told beforehand, yes. then you would have potentially had the, 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 the opportunity of 72 hours of treatment. To get yes. her out. In, yes. To get her out yes. in a hospital. Okay. And who knows, it may she may have not pulled through, or she may have pulled through with 72 hours of treatment. Of because course. eventually on that Sunday, she reacted well initially. They started uh, treating her. And she reacted well, but it was not enough. That was right. the, that's the insinuation behind yes. it. Yeah. Yeah. So well from put. that from that platform, the law is clear: is that when you both under the common law and under um, human rights law, that you must consult at the earliest opportunity. Yeah. And although it was recorded on a Friday, um, that in itself may have not been done straight away on that day. So it may have been contemplated on the Thursday or yeah, Wednesday. Yeah. Or the, or right. Yeah. So you could have had uh, more time and opportunity. Now, where Antonio's law comes in mm. is um, Tony's been talking about having CCTV in care homes. Yes. And particularly in, in, in a patient's room. Yes. Absolutely. That, of course, um, is a proposal, but we have tried to address it because there are privacy issues. There mm. are issues with people not wanting to be on film, you know, carers or nurses. Okay. And so the proposal is framed like this. It's framed in a way that strikes a balance between all these competing interests. Okay. Because we don't want to deter yes. good nurses. We don't want to de deter yeah. very good carers who are doing fantastic jobs. Yes. Uh, we don't want them to feel um, that there's an intrusive element. In, that you mean in spied their, on yeah. kind of thing. Yeah. 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 So the proposal is um, to have a, uh, a camera or, or unit, which you can get now, that's quite cheap. You know, they're yeah. as cheap as 40 pounds. No, um, absolutely. I've got one in yeah. the lounge. I can watch yeah. my dogs there right there now. You go. What are, what are and, they, and they usually have two-way radios, yeah. so you yes. can either I communicate them. Yeah, of course. Yeah. 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 Um, so should you decide to have it, it's, it's the patient's choice. Yeah. Mm -hmm. They can have one in their room as of right. Mm. Because now it's not a right enshrined in law. It depends on the terms uh, and uh, terms and conditions of the care home. Yes. Right. So if the terms and conditions, which is a contractual document, doesn't provide for it, you can't have it. Okay. There you go. So the proposal yeah, you is do. you have it as of right, and it can be switched off by the nurse or carer if there's an intimate activity. Being of course. Like no, absolutely. So I get that. that. Yeah. I get that. So we've defined um, intimate activity uh, as you know changing. Of course. Yeah. yeah. And that can be turned off, it's, and then thereafter it can be turned on. Yeah. And what we say is, particularly during lockdown, when we had restrictions and if we're going to have stuff such as, you know, the pa pandemics and mm. the rest of them, is this could be a, a tool that can keep um, loved ones that give them... Connected. The, that you, you have something on your yes. phone and, the, and, and you can yes. click on that and you could have made yes. sure that your mom... But well, what would have happened to my okay. mom on the 15th? And the, and the patient's in control. So the, uh, the, the patient can decide, right, okay, I just want this me time now. I don't want my yes. son or my <laughs> I get that. daughter. And they can switch it off. Switch off. Or so they can switch it on. And the benefit of that is you can see on a day-to-day -day basis if someone's well. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So you can see, have they eaten the whole dinner? Are they on the floor? Are they watching yeah, East, yeah, Are yeah. they watching Coronation Street yeah. or EastEnders? Yeah. 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 Are they chuckling at their favourite TV programme? And those little signs yeah. will be able of to tell course. you. You would know your family you member. know your loved one the most. Yeah. So you, you know exactly what exactly, their day-to-day day so is like. You would notice, okay, yeah. that's not right I knew my mum's every move. Are they listening to music and listening to their favourite song? Are they watching their favourite TV programme? If not, you can pick up on these signs and say, hang on, something's wrong. Right. Right. So you, 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 you take action. And in essence, that could probably help. Yeah, yeah because it, it would save many. That. It would save many. But yeah. also, if you're a good healthcare assistant nurse, you wouldn't mind that. You wouldn't mind. Mm -hmm. No. You've got so you're high. wanting, to, you're, you are taking this to the highest. Um, you know, what what's the projected journey that that you see this going on? Because you know, you're going to go through government, and you've met ministers. You know, you you've gone. You know, yeah, we had an early day motion, didn't you? We had an early day motion, which mm. is to get the backing of certain MPs. But that was just for lockdown. So obviously lockdown changed everything. Okay. Obviously yeah. I lost my mum, as we've just explained there. And, and initially I, it had cross-party support. Had cross -party so this support. isn't an ideological thing. This right. is really a social... It's, a, it's about consumer choice and mm. consumer empowerment. We had cross-party right. support. All no one's forcing anybody to have this. You can yeah. have it or you can choose not to have it. Yeah. So right. it's, it's all about you. choice. And at the, but at the moment, it stipulates that you can't have it. And you, that's what you're trying to change. I want choice. If you want it, you can. If you don't, don't. I mean, yeah. And some care homes do have it, but that's but the the decision is with the care, the home. care home. It's not as off right, right by law. Yes. And that's what we're trying to change. We're oh, trying the lady decide if I want that for my mum, who I love dearly, Listen, or your it, son or daughter. It, it, you know, 
I, I said that episodes fly so wow, quickly. It? It's completely flown. Um, Antonio's Law, it is on screen now. Okay, follow the links. Okay, Tony, you will love to hear from people. Wouldn't yes, you, you know, I would. You're yes. very, very open. Um, we would love you to come back on. Mm. Okay, we'd love to, you know, if you would like to come back on and talk to us about how things are progressing. Yeah. We're going to talk anyway because I'm going to join you on your journey as well as we've already spoke about. Um, if you want any more information, please look um, at the website. You can contact Tony and his legal team through Antonio's Law. Thank you so much for taking the time. Thank you, to come Thank on. you. Thank, Thank you for sharing part of your story. And um, I know this is just the beginning for you guys because mm, yes. you're not going to give up no. in your mum's name. It's my mum. Thank you so much for joining us today on Creatives on the Couch and we will see you next week. Bye for now.